This is the next sortie off to the rival Strela footage. This time I went with the southern Pinsana front lines. It's rolling hills up high. Any higher and ones in the low clouds or mist and potentially a SAM territory. But low down is all manner of vehicles hidden in the villages and the forests. Kinda dangerous. My tactics were far from good in this scenario. I'm flying more solo, low and slow over dense cover areas like these villages which I haven't fully scoped out. But it's interesting how the terrain does or should change your approach. Flaring quite often, still expecting man beds. Usually I'm not one for using cannon against tanks, but this close up point blank in the rear flank T-55 is doable. A Vichra shot might actually hit a tree and could have issues guiding in at this short range. I'm worried that APC dropped off a man pad head, but at the same time I have no idea what's over this ridge here, so it's pretty reckless rolling the dice. Still looking for that extra possible RPG or man pad. Oh, horsey. I really want to stop right now because those factories are pretty dangerous. You know, it's busy producing troops often enough and man pad type things, etc. And there wasn't actually much room to circle around in or go higher over the terrain when circling, given said man pads, etc. So I ended up doing this Cobra like maneuver. Quickly setting up a target point so I can show those coordinates, take a screenshot and then show it over the Discord so one of the fixed wingers can come bomb it. This is a fork, all KF-50s, I've just sent you a data link to a factory. Good receive. Our 
bases are to the west, so approaches be from the left if you don't want to brave the fog and the forest. If you're approaching from the west, it's behind a dip, so it's kind of hard to hit. I've got eyes on it. I'm not seeing many units around it right now. Same, but they're hard to spot. I won't argue with you there. Just below you left is a contact. Going evasive. He's not firing on you, but he's still there active. Oh, I'd rather not be shot at and have you get the kill than, you know, the other thing. There's still a couple of BMPs and such hanging around here in the towns. Taking tracer flyovers down there, I think it's a Mi-24. Z folk. Go ahead. I'm not seeing anything left here. I can't really take out the factory, so I'm gonna head around to go wrong or uh, I'm taking fire where I am now. Copy bone you. I think it was from my east. The tree line. Eyes detected. Copy. Turn on rotor anti ice. There's vehicles moving through our rear, yeah. With this red smoke yeah, here, there's a bunch of vehicles. Volk just below me, I just flew over a BMP. Should see a burning wreck of a truck nearby. Take a trace of fire. Rifle. Winchester and low on fuel, I got RTB. I lost lock, but the target stopped moving in that direction, and I'm battling with inertial tracking. I should have reset it a lot sooner using the helmet sight.
And yes, it's as annoying as it looks fighting inertial tracking. Oh, they're also further up the road, I'm taking fire up here too. I have eyes on you. I am RTB'd up the MSR back to the far, far pit. I got ambushed on the way there. Lost my Cheval. If, um, there was a man bad, but I don't think it took a shot. Oh, it's low light. Okay, my shawl is freaking out because it's slowed inertia. On the way home, I'm feeling too cocky, given that I've gunned down a T-55. First problem, it's not alone. Second, I should have waited to be closer before I start firing. As soon as you hit or damage an AI unit, they start moving, so in this case I'm now heading inside and not damaging anymore. Third, I didn't put on moving ground target, so not hitting at all. And fourth, about now I should have already been breaking away and not overfly the target. Under attack. Hmm. She's seen better days. Okay. 